Hi everyone, my name is Emma and I'm coming to you from the Clarington Public Library with another fun STEAM activity. Today, we're going to use art and math to make some really awesome art like this. Before we start, let's try to understand what division is exactly. Division is a way to find out how many times a smaller number goes into a larger number. Let's pretend you have 10 cookies and want to share them between five people. This means you're dividing 10 by 5, or you want to know how many times the number 5 goes into the number 10. Let's give each person one cookie. How many cookies do we have left? There are five cookies left. This means you can give each person one more cookie. That means 5 goes into 10 twice, or 10 divided by 5 is 2. You can think of division as the number of times a small number can be removed or subtracted from a larger number. Here, we subtracted 5 twice from 10. That's why 10 divided by 5 is 2. What would you do if you had 9 cookies and you needed to share them between 2 people? 2 doesn't go evenly into 9. If we try to divide it, we can give each person 4 cookies, but then we have 1 left over. When you have something left over, like this cookie, it's called a remainder. In this case, we'll split the cookie in half to share it between our two friends here. Now that we understand division a bit better, let's see how we can use it to make some awesome art. For this project, we're going to need a ring. We're using a ring from the craft store, but there are a lot of different rings you can use. You can also cut the center out from a container lid and use that. Just make sure the edge isn't too sharp. You'll also need a marker, a measuring tape, paint and paint brushes, string, and anything you'd like to decorate your hoop with, like flowers, foam shapes, pom-poms, stickers, and so on. You also need glue, a ruler, and you may want a calculator, some painter's tape, and some beads to decorate your project with. Finally, you'll need a pencil and a pair of scissors. First, you're going to use a marker or pencil and a measuring tape or ruler to divide your hoop into 20 equal parts. There's a couple of different ways to go about this. You can use your ruler to divide the hoop in half vertically and then in half horizontally to give you four quarters. From there, you can divide each of those four quarters into five and that'll give you 20 segments. Or you could do what I'm doing here and measure around your hoop with your measuring tape and divide that number by 20. As you can see, my hoop is 97 centimeters around I'm going to divide 97 by 20 with my calculator. That's going to give me 4.85, or 4 centimeters, 8 millimeters, and half a millimeter. Half a millimeter could be tricky to deal with, so you could either round up to 4.9 or round down to 4.8. It doesn't really matter which you do. So continuing with my measuring tape, I'm just going to measure these little individual segments of 4.8 centimeters. And then I'm just going to make a line all the way around the edge. And this way, my hoop gets divided up into 20 equal segments. So, as you can see, our hoop is all done. We've got our 20 equal segments, and we are now ready to move on to the next step. Next, we're going to paint the sections different colors. So, as you can see, I've already painted the hoop white before I made my little measurements. This is going to help the colors that I paint over top of it really pop. Remember how we talked about remainders before? For this step, you will want to make sure the number of colors you use goes into 20 evenly. That way, you won't end up with two of the same color next to each other, and your pattern will repeat perfectly. 
I'd recommend you paint your sections two, four, or five different colors. Here I'm going to use five different colors. Blue, this pinky red sort of color, purple, green, and I'm gonna leave the last section in the pattern white. This means my colors are going to repeat four times because five goes into 20 four times. I've also taped off the edges of my sections with a little bit of painter's tape, but I did find that the paint bled underneath anyway, so this step is optional. It may help you get a crisper edge, but it's totally up to you. Once the paint dries, number the sections 1 to 20 with a marker. Permanent markers work best for this, so you may need an adult's help. Alternatively, you could use numbered stickers instead. Now we're going to add the string. To start, cut a piece of string so it's several feet long and tie the end to section 1. Now count five sections over and tie the string to the hoop again. Repeat this again until you make it all the way around. You should be back at section 1. This is because 5 goes evenly into 20. How many knots did we tie? We tied the string in four places, so that means that 20 divided by 5 is 4. Tie the string around the first section again. Now we're going to repeat the last step, but instead we're going to count by threes. This is not going to bring us back to section 1, as 3 doesn't go into 20 evenly. But that's okay. If you have more string, you can continue counting three sections over until you run out of string, or you think it looks nice, or you can just tie it off the first time you complete the circle. Try counting by different numbers and starting in different spots to create a webbed pattern. If you run out of string, you can either tie a new length to the end of the old one, or just start in a new section. Add as much string as you want and tie it off when you're done. I like counting by sections of eight because it tends to give me this cool star pattern. You can also add a bead or two to your string as you tie it. Now all that's left is to decorate your hoop. Add any decorations you have that you think are going to look nice, and you're done! Look at our awesome division string art! I can't wait to put this up on the wall somewhere. There are so many ways you can decorate your art too. Here's like a space-themed one I made using fishing line, which is this blue stuff, and blue and gold paint. You can see I have some fun little star beads I've added in, and you don't have to use a hoop at all. I made this little square one out of popsicle sticks. And I left the string long so I could hang it up somewhere. It can make like a fun little Christmas ornament or something to go on your porch. There's all sorts of stuff you can do. We got the idea from, for this project from Earth Friendly Math Crafts by Veronica Thompson. This book has a lot of fun crafts that can help you learn more about math in an environmentally friendly way. Check it out by placing a hold today or download it on Hoopla. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Lastly, if you make a project at home from one of our videos, be sure to post a picture and tag us on social media. We love to see all the projects you guys get up to. I hope to see you again soon for another awesome STEAM video. Bye for now! Mm -hmm.